Hey, it's Dave. Dave. And I'm Susan Gumpel. Susan, you want to hear the story? I have no idea. Uh, looks like I'm cooking mac and cheese. Yes. Same with that one. Continue to cook it. Why not? Yeah. Okay. I think that's the mac and cheese that she's making. Okuki Carbonara. I guess we'll find out who's done. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Okuki Carbonara. You just dropped an entire stick of butter in there. Yeah, I'll bet it's cereal. <laughs> you think you don't have butter on your corn pops? Mmm. Butter. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Mac and cheese. Right. Okay, what is with the sparkles over the stove again? Stop cleaning. Oh, that's what that is all about. <laughs> you know? I, I think I had asked you that once before, and I just I couldn't remember because I had. <laughs> so very few of my objects are self cleaning. <laughs> a little uh, move timer on the side of the chessboard that's <laughs> never actually been used. They're both still pointing at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if they actually do move. I wish you'd leave the bowls, like, on the chair. A few sits on this. Oh, oh yeah, all that cooking food. Um, oh, I was gonna throw laundry into the, the from the washer into the dryer if there was any. Find someone to move in with you. Oh, yeah. Who am I the most friends with? Kanoa Parrot or a dog? <laughs> a stray dog. <laughs> That's like the stupidest hat. I hate her. I hate Hetty's hat. <laughs> if she moved in with me, I would seal her in a little box in the corner and let her die. Or you could just move in with her. So she doesn't have the hat. No, she chose the hat. She. I can't. I can't let her live. Is there any prohibition against me killing the person that I get to move in with me? Well, the reason for having someone move in with you is so it's more hectic for you. So I would say I'm, uh, you have to lose three people before you can kill one. You have to have all, a minimum of two once you get there. Okay, so if I have. I have to have two left over after I kill someone. Yeah, just in case the unforeseen happens, so you have a minimum of one. Fair enough. We want to keep this going for as possible. We want, you know, if possible, we want uh, Susan's descendants to, to take over the uh, detective biz. Yes. <laughs> the detective biz. The crappy toilet. I want her. I want her daughter's daughter's daughter to. Uh, she can swear it if it gets broken again. That's clean. <laughs> it's clean. No, it's not. Not anymore. That sounds like a job for me. Are those stairs carpeted or is that just concrete? Um, I think it's just concrete. If I remember correctly, those are the basic, basic concrete stairs that I used on a uh, single-player game when I had to create a new scene after I killed up Susan. That's another reason why I wanted to get another scene. What? Because I have a, pro a propensity for killing them by accident? <laughs> well, to be fair, it wasn't anything specifically you did. It's something the game did to you. Yeah, I still don't get what what prompted the alien invasion of the Like what I specifically did while I was rummaging through the trash and the, the garbage dump. Shit, I forgot to put that stuff away. It's gonna be it, She made it, went to sleep, woke up the next day, and it's still it's still edible. That's totally what a person would do. They forgot on the counter, and they wake up the next day like crap, I left it. It's still good. 
I think it, I think it must have been pretty good quality beforehand because it's still good now. Uh, I need to upgrade the shower. <laughs> shower in the shower. That's why we put it in the middle of the living room. So it would be if you put it in the bath, like, why do we have two showers? Yeah, I'm just going to sell the crappy <laughs> one. Exactly. Mm. And then someone comes by for the shower. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're just using it? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot I was supposed to fix this for you. Yeah, my, my shower is so much worse. Uh, I upgraded my shower. <laughs> Here. <laughs> dirty, crappy cold shower. <laughs> like, I even like the glass on this one better. Bang it with a wrench. Come on, you know you want to. You're the, the handy detective. People are bringing their stuff to you for upgrades. Yeah, I have no other skills. I, I'm, I'm a, a handy detective who lives alone, therefore she's good at cooking. Yeah. Meanwhile, in my single player game, my character that I've got there has like eight different skills, and I'm like, I didn't even know half of these were skills. <laughs> I think I've just about got her to uh, mastery of gardening, actually. But it unlocked something in the skill journal, and I was like, okay, where the hell is that? Spend a bunch of time digging around trying to find it. Turns out it's this little button right here. <laughs> Skill journal. Ah. And then it shows you the statistics and the various challenges. Blah 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 blah. I think she has perk plus in the shower. What? Oh, looks like perk plus. Certainly not. Uh, yeah, it's not head and shoulders. It's not Pantene, because that's kind of a, a unique color. It's like a metallic color. What else should we do? Let's get food lined up. And then she should invite over It's 11 o'clock on a Monday, he'll be home. <laughs> we, oh, you're calling that uh, MP guy? Let's get here. Right, okay. Hawaii 5-0. <laughs> Alright, so you couldn't remember. The Parrot Man. There we go, shower upgrade complete. Upgrade the shower and return it to Booker Single. Yeah, I've upgraded it. How do I return it to Booker Single? Upgrade it and send it back. It's a bad. It, is show it showed up in your inventory, right? It showed up in my family inventory. Ah. That worked. Mm -hmm. For once. Uh, yeah, there's been a few of the challenges that I've had trouble with in uh, single player and in this one. Um, the ones where it's like cook so and so a meal and take it over there are really hit and miss. I've, I've had more of them fail than succeed. Hmm. Alright, where are we going? Where is Booker Singleton? I bet he's right across the street. Oh no! Wow. Nope. Better take a car. For, for once, the world is not written right outside your door. <laughs> <laughs> Just barely missed the pedestrian. Damn kids! I wonder if that I was. I thought the pedestrian was going to turn out to be him, and she was going to go back there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we almost ran you over here. Have a shower. See if. if it was a little bit more like Grand Theft Auto with ragdoll physics and, you know, Oh, that would be awesome, yeah. This game would be a lot more chaotic. <laughs> like, you know, 300 computer players all doing shit to each other. 
gosh. Mm -hmm. oh so, God. I see you carrying a shower in your pocket. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Become a business partner. That involves my Fleisel? Gefoolish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Bazine. Dirty. <laughs> Just a business transaction stuff over my own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need to upgrade five objects, and I'm at two of five thanks to doing the shower. Actually, a tattoo would be like a race, great icebreaker or a way to, you know, so people stop looking at my tits without saying stop looking at my tits. But I think it might be a little awkward during sex. Leave me a gnome. <laughs> okay, first things first. Go to bed. On the floor, apparently. <laughs> Might as well, it just winds up there anyway. Fucking toilet. <laughs> the next thing to upgrade. I was gonna suggest you can upgrade in you know, stages, but the, the game seems to forget when you do that. Yeah, like this shower over here that's perpetually stuck at 2%. <laughs> You're gonna have to clear out a Saturday or something. I don't get I don't think I have a case on go. Yes, I do. <laughs> Although, this will be the first time you didn't look at a case immediately, so I'm going to pick you up. Yeah, I've been pretty pretty diligent about hopping on those right away. Can you zoom in on the first? I want to see how clean it is. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it looks significantly better. There we go. It still looks shitty, but it looks better. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lousy toilet, but it's not really as bad. Yeah, um, it's in it's not a lousy toilet caked with mud somehow. Caked with what, what I can only hope to be mud. <laughs> okay, becoming a business partner is a thing I do on the computer. Mm -hmm. Check the bills. Alright, well, you're hacking. Yeah, it's going to be right here with Mitchell. Yes. Kim Marshall, not Mitchell, has the setup of a novice hacker. Nothing but a crummy firewall and sloppy password projector barred my way. I took the files, left a few surprises, and got out. <laughs> you surprised. So, translation, I took a digital dump in her coat pocket. <laughs> uh, I should report back to Kanoa with the news. And while I'm there... Make sure you have the... Show them, show them, uh, show them the gnome toads. This is so unsexy. Hey baby, wanna play with the gnome's toes? The, the, the tattoo only shows, shows his uh, head, but her, the toes have to go all the way up in the face. Yeah, exactly. He's got really long feet. <laughs> you know what they say about gnomes with big feet? They trip a lot. Oh, what? And in you go. Okay. Check real estate is this become a business partner thing. How do I do that? How about you invite someone over or something? Well, I don't think I have the money for it. I've only got three grand. So I just want to look oh. at it and see what I'm looking at as a target. If it's something that's going to be doable or if it's going to be impossible. Community buildings, vacation homes, all properties, you participate. Yeah, like I thought it. Cheapest one is 23 grand. You can buy multiple properties and mix them with one another. Hope so. That's a way to go. I'm not sure that's the only way. Well, it's worth a thousand points, so it may get cancelled. Happens. Oh, perfect. The perfect person you're referring to is the mm -hmm. person you're eyeing up for a relationship. Exactly. Hopefully, you can get him away from his wife. Yeah, I was going to say, if I remember correctly, I think he's married. <laughs> Although, shouldn't it say that in here? Only if you get to know him. Hey, buddy. Why don't you know your wife? Who be charming? Uh, deep her single mom <laughs> with, wind, <laughs> with windy parrot. That guy. <laughs> Hi, Danny Vasquez, who just showed up out of the blue. <laughs> Career. That's a funny story. Hey, I got that thing where I can repeat transactions. Yep. Arna Nikaya Johnson, the Dernaviv, 
Open mm -hmm. with? Mama Vina. A newbie. Kazonia. No, I can see Susan is slightly insulted. Dig up. Uh -huh. Ah, he's a cut purse. <laughs> that works. Is that fit? I don't know. That fits rather well with the PI. Uh, I need you to get some evidence. Go over there and uh, steal that woman's purse. <laughs> Fuck off, horse! I was here first! Get your own friend! <laughs> Is it possible to shiv a horse? Kanoa, do it. Shiv him. It is. It is. <laughs> Kudra, Renz Gazi. Oh. Is the horse Ryan waiting to talk to somebody? Oh. Uh, I'm glad I'm not on merry-go-round. I haven't got a clue what the hell a horse is thinking about. Oh, he wants to go racing. Oh, is that what that is? That looks like he's like running and there's like stars. Okay. Could have been a champion. I could have been a contender. That is what? Jazzling. Maybe she's just sifting through for recyclable metal. If they can take the get the deposit of that. Maybe. Maybe with a shirt like that. Well, yeah, I assumed with a shirt like that. Hi, horse. Hi, horse. We'll be glad. No. Grass ran away. Fucking mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a distraction. I like that. I think that that's, uh... <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, he's single. Oh. More. Yeah, ignore the horse. Just ignore the more you know. Because knowledge is power. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, Or an unchart. Was the kiss not the No, it's available. i <laughs> Oh good, someone's taking care of me. Oh, young enough to have a bottle, is better. <laughs> I figure if I get that up to about halfway, I should be ready for gifts. Although the fact that this goes out of the point. You're the one about the woman with the drum on her face. So it says to him, I says, a gnome's not all I got in my cleavage, but a chop. Does it actually change from acquaintance to something more? Yeah, I think that of course is friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think they just joke with her. And it's, uh, pissing me off. And you off. <laughs> yeah, you can look after your baby. Jaslyn. Oh, going to bed. Yeah. You're just gonna go straight to the movie. Straight to the movie. That's a great idea. I've only known you for a few weeks. My previous client. Keep up your words. So, the uh, the new character that I created is not a slob. So every time there's a dirty dish laying around somewhere in her house, she's in a foul fucking mood, which is just great because <laughs> I'm used to Susan Gumbo here who 
could live in a pile of her own feces and be like, hey, this is cozy. Which you can do that, that's pretty cool. Um, what are the other traits? Oh, she's not inappropriate. I, I didn't, <laughs> didn't duplicate that. So she's not constantly trying to kick over people's garbage cans? No, she's not always being a bitch. She's not a daredevil. She's not inappropriate. She's not a slob. Uh, she's not eccentric. So she doesn't have anything to do with the inventing skill or creating monsters like this. Is that three different plates on one counter? Looks like. I do not know that it happened. I thought she would have spread them out. <laughs> oh, she's in a really bad mood. It's about to get better. Fresh clean laundry. Big smile. Big smile. How the hell are you supposed to get 25 grand to become a business partner? Uh, better jobs. Some of the jobs you're making, like... $2,000 a day. Unless there's a different business out there. That was the only one I saw. Yeah, the only one I saw was the Czech real estate option. Uh, oh, fuck me, is a burglar stealing my shit? <laughs> really? He stole my. Fuck! He stole my brand new stove! <laughs> That's impressive. We didn't, we didn't see it. I just saw it out of the corner of my <laughs> eye because it was on high speed. Son of a bitch! Where's my fucking stove? I don't think we had that one, did we? Yeah, um, we do now. I'm sure we had that one. No. Um, I think we had the third one. Not that it matters, that one's better. Oh, yeah, ours had burners on top. Whoops. Now we have the best stuff. And we're gonna get a fucking burglar alarm. <laughs> oh, where is it? That one? There, so he's gonna walk past it here. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I was just starting to move over to set her up with like a shower or something, and I saw the little bastard in the corner of my eye. That's the weird, stupidest thing to steal. It is the most expensive thing in our house. This is that. Logistically, you gotta unhook it from the gas. And this is like a shitty e machine computer or whatever it is. But the TV's right next to the door. You could have stepped in. You Do you have any idea how heavy that TV is? Heavier, not as heavy as a stove. Stoves on wheels. They come with wheels. Mine doesn't. Well, that one I got is probably newer than the one you got. <laughs> Your virtual oven is newer than my real one. Yeah, I just bought it. <laughs> the one I've got upstairs in the kitchen, when we got it, it came with wheels. It, it had wheels on the bottom. Huh. They're getting smarter about that, putting... Fridges, stoves, dishwashers on wheels so that you can actually move them without destroying your floor. Because a lot of people get really pissed off about destroying your floor when they move a piece of heavy appliance. I still think it would have been easier to have the piece to move all the way to the kitchen. Easier, yes, but probably not as profitable. I doubt that's an $800 TV. Might have been when it first came uh, I guess when she gets up, she should have a shower. She gets up, she's going to notice things go. Uh, she's going to have a buff from that, won't she? Oh, step it, yeah. From seeing Burglar. You didn't see the Burglar, you liar. You slept through it. <laughs> Either way, she's going to be freaked out that there's mysteriously a new stove in her house. Tell me what you don't know. Mm. Hey, you're a fucking key. I should have woken up and I'll wait for this. Yeah, it was on uh, the high speed one, and I just caught the end of it as the dude was leaving with our stove. Bastard. What the hell is that in the bathroom? Well, that's the gnome. Oh, no. 
on a fridge reach. <laughs> it smells like fridge. You know, bad food before you eat whatever's in the fridge. Ah, you fucking idiot. She can't get in the shower because that fucking oh, moves in the way. Oh, it moved over there. Yeah, it moved in front of the shower. <laughs> Need more of those. Oh shit, I should get him. This <laughs> shit got the walk. <laughs> he took them out of the mailbox like, ah, fuck this. The mailman took them out to make room for the new ones. Are there new bills in the mailbox? Oh, okay, there's the same set of bills. Oh, We're down to two newspapers up front. Yeah, one of them got shredded into little pieces and I think we threw it out after that. It would be an interesting mod, see if we could find one that allows the uh, paper boy to just not wait, not stop after seven days. <laughs> to deliver <laughs> as many <laughs> newspapers as your lot has to You still pay for them. Although it, I think it's a free service. It's a free service, yeah. <laughs> He still subscribes, so I guess he wants them. <clears throat> wow, she's gonna be dwelling on this stuff taken, but she hasn't even noticed that she's got a new fucking stove. <laughs> Why did I bother buying it while you were sleeping? Should wait until you're awake. <laughs> Has she done any fishing? No, she hasn't. Hey, Kanoa being a cut purse means he's probably home during the day. Mm, let me try it up. Hello, naughty naughty. Um. Is Jasmine his knife? Plum. Juanita Blanco. Uh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He's home. Narga <laughs> Villa Mova? Oops, what? Who's the guy in his underwear? That's Blanca or whatever. <laughs> Sloppy Jalop. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the phone. Hello. Better everyone lets a ring for me then. Interview Barrington Diamond. I just got a call from Barrington Diamond and noticed that the prize ring was missing. When it means no more notifications to only you or even any other thing. Herzaz, Neftobi. Christmas first, finish cooking for your set. Yeah, you should eat a plate of <clears throat> I'm not sure when she became so stupid that I have to tell her to eat when she's hungry. I don't remember turning off her ability to eat. It really depends on how hungry she is. Ah, lusty shark. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Here's going. Barrington Diamond left the ring in the dining room and then left for work. The cops couldn't find any evidence, but I'm not sure the fuzz can find a ring that isn't made of dough covered in sugar. She dust for prints in the dining room. 
Let me do mm, Wabi Blev. I'm a dog's every day. Is she not looking at his character? Or is it a little bit iron? No, she wanted to work out iron. There, I was is that possible to see some textures? A little bit. <laughs> Visit the sports spice and everything nice household. Seriously? That's the name that they gave it. <laughs> I tell her to break into the home. She gets into her private investigator clothes. <laughs> Those are her new PI clothes? Yep. Huh. Kind of like a, almost like a Carmen San Diego kind of vibe. Yeah. She's picking, picking the face. She's picking the door with two forks from, I'm going to say 10 feet away. I'm excited for face. <laughs> she, this is talent. This is <laughs> She's seriously not happy about breaking into this guy's house. You're not going home, knock it off. <clears throat> Susan Lane the Barrington is rich. You have everything that's in jail down. Bitch, you are not fucking going home. All that time, wasn't it? You stop trying to go home, you <laughs> stupid fucking Twatzilla. <laughs> can you steal the can you steal anything? <laughs> what the hell is her problem? Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on. Investigate. Wow. Fuck off with the go home. Never expected fucking rage quit sins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then something's messing up. This is. That is so weird. Is she making progress before she decides she wants to go home? Well, it shows a little plus sign beside it. But you're not going home, you're not staying. You can't stay here. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. And somewhere else. Chase squirrels. Dickhead dining to be. Oh, that, is, that is so weird. Like, you turned her free will up too high. But a few seconds before, she wouldn't eat, <laughs> even though she was starving. Maybe that's why the aliens came for her. Just not right. Some serious issues with the uh, behavior mapping in this game. Alright, let's see. Got some silver. Some sort of special seed. He needs a seed to grow in the brain. She needs it. Uh, I can't remember. That might be. 
thing you can do. What? You can grow a, a person. Ooh. I think so. But it would be, it's something either with the mad scientist or the gardening career path. You know, if you grow a plant creature or those you, just like you can build a, a robot. Grow a mushroom man. Do you wait for the guy to get home there? Yep. While I'm waiting, I'm going to put a bunch of shit. You know, bear seat. Uh, I don't think I've ever been here, so they've just been accumulating day after day. Is that like light? I thought I saw something there too, but. Yeah, her free will slider is like all over. I must go. Um, I think my people can get it soon. Oh, she found tomato seed. She can identify it, she can plant it. Right? That's like a tomato. Shut up, you're a tomato. Alright. Yeah, pizza. You don't want to sit on the pizza. Did it hurt? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Second degree burns to your ass from cheese. Well. <laughs> she wants to talk with the hat lady. Yeah, sure. Chat with Hetty while I look for more seeds. <laughs> as soon as I find one, that phone's getting hung up. It's on the phone? Soon. I have to stop the flow. Butterfly! Bye, Hattie. It's a butterfly half a mile away I have to go catch. <laughs> you have good eyes, I know. She has to drive over instead of far away. Oh, more seeds. It's nice that they make four butterflies in a little oh, cluster, oh. so that you're not trying to spot one single one. <laughs> right, yeah. But the first several times I tried to grab one, I'm like, why can't I grab more than one? The other three just disappear. It's going to be too hard to cook up one butterfly. Well, I Alright. Jeez, look how far I walked. From here, I walked all the way over to the fishing spot <laughs> and then drove down here. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's. I mean, Barrington Diamond, that's the guy I was waiting for. You're supposed to investigate his chair, but you couldn't do it? Yeah, I couldn't do it while he wasn't home, even though I could successfully break in. Gosh, Weird. Ah, uh, the code in this game has a few holes in it, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Up here. After uh, he was actually making some good progress financially, so the uh, for the work, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that really buggered things up. 
so much for becoming a real estate speculator. Ignore everything else. Dust that chair. Thanks for inviting me out. I'm just gonna put some flour over here. Yeah. I'm just gonna make a big mess all over your fine furniture. No, she's still holding that grudge about the burglar. It was 24 hours. <laughs> Too materialist. <laughs> she never looks happy when she's doing the job. She's <laughs> That's very least unpleasant. <laughs> Found the prints, but they don't seem to match with any prints in my limited files. Uh, I should stop by the police station to run them against the database. That sounds like a nice step. <laughs> she has some moments come up her way after doing this step. Right. Uh, what exactly are you doing? Burnington Diamond is sneaking out of his own house. <laughs> idea why. I don't really live here. Yeah, apparently he's a poser. I don't really own this house. It was just empty when I got here and I really needed something to eat. I love how she can just go and go from the police station at all hours of the day. It's a lot of good work for them. Like, you know, the legal shit that they can't do. Pretty much. Anyway, which hook closer is she? I'm about halfway. Which apparently is where I tend to. Not one, but two sets of prints on this. One belongs to Diane and Baron Richard Diamond, the other belongs to Cliff Marshall. But they need to pay a firm visit to Cliff Marshall. Go get her. Go get her, it's 11 o'clock at night. Best time to meet. Kim Marshall claims to be innocent, as well as a good friend of Barrington Diamond. It appears two had coffee the other day. I should question Barrington to see if this checks out. It sounds really familiar, like I've done this before. A few of them are I think it can be repeated. Yeah. Alright, let's go interrogate Barrington Diamond, who just snuck out of his house to stand by the mailbox. <laughs> seems our suspect was telling the truth. Strange that Barrington Diamond would leave out such a significant detail. Something seems fishy. I should sneak around his house and see if I can find it. Uh huh. Right. Where exactly? In his house again? You bitch, did you just knock over his garbage can? You fucking did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the... That should be under her tombstone. We should knock over garbage can in front of her tombstone. Yeah, her tombstone is sideways. And the picture of garbage can is, you know, right the right way up because her tombstone is sideways. <laughs> God, I can't believe what a twat she is. Always kicking over garbage cans. It's inappropriate. I think that's very inappropriate all the time. Yeah, I guess there's never a right time to kick over some garbage can. Unless they've done. 
something really bad to mess you up. The rage quit their garbage cans. <laughs> Mm. Come on, evidence seen. Barrington Diamond is a thief. The place we have a town, Barrington, quote factory. Mm. Burlington. Burlington. Okay. Covenant. Need more of the great coats. I found the ring right here, tucked in the corner of the room, outside, in the middle of the yard. Oh, it looks like someone intentionally hid it. Why would someone hide it? I don't know what I prefer to return. I'm tempted to say don't return it. Keep the fucking ring. The local pawn shop. I think that's our first boss. Hmm? Burlington Coat Factory. Oh, oh. I call them. You're in the shadow. Go return the ring. You're wrong, bitch. Go do oh, your job. I hope so. Yeah. That's right. 1 30 in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Oh, this case. Dude is standing outside of his house still at 2 in the morning. He really doesn't want to be outside. Maybe he's stuck up from his wife. Uh, oh, maybe. He's in a bad marriage and so he just sneaks out of the house and hangs out in front so he doesn't have to deal with her. And he's got a kid too. Either that or he's like dealing drugs out of the front yard. Let's explain why he's so rich. Alright, we gotta go home, we gotta have a piss, we gotta have a meal, we gotta have a nap. It's a long day. A lot of, uh, you know, the garbage cans and stuff. Oh, man. Well, okay. Cancel going in. Let's get the bathroom first, I guess. Use the toilet. Eat up the waffles. And sleep into it. In. Butter check. Ooh. Check. And she's about ready to go to bed. Looks like a good place to follow up for today. That's not a good spot. So, the adventures of Susan Gumpo continue. Her life is a private eye, and we're trying to get someone to move in with her to help with the bills. I think uh, Kanoa Perry's a good candidate. He's uh, equally shady and around all day kind of person. <laughs> with a crappy car. <laughs> with the worst car ever. <laughs> so if you uh, like the series, uh, definitely uh, subscribe here on Digital Disappointment. Um, like the video, we really appreciate that too. If you have any ideas for uh, things that we can do to Susan to make our life more miserable, I'll leave them in the comments below. And uh, I think that's everything. I would say. See you next time.